Rated M for Mature. Our studio. Uh, this episode is going to be giving you a studio tour of the Mad World team as they wrap up Mad World in uh, in preparation for the launch in March. So I've got a, a really cool guest to uh, join me on the tour. He's lead character designer on Mad World, uh, Masaki Yamanaka. Say hello. <laughs> So, he's a uh, Yamanaka-san is also the guy we like to call the man who can only draw in three colors. Um, I kind of wanted to talk to him today, just find out who he is, and uh, show you around the room, and also show you a little bit of Jack, who's uh, moving on screen right now. Jack, just Jack. This is um, one of the design areas. We got lots of black and white toys. We really took the black and white thing serious. Um, Yamanaka-san is going to tell us a little bit about Jack, the character model, and what he did to make Jack. Um, Yamanaka-san, Jack the design, just tell me. Here's the design. Here's the design. Here's the design. I don't know. You should have a mark. What about the mark on the back right there? Can you talk to us about that? This is a little bit of 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 a um, the other thing that's really cool about Jack's model is how he reacts to shadows. Um, I was wondering if you could show us a little bit about the shadows. So right now he's actually controlling the shadows on the uh, on the control pad in the development kit. And you can see how Jack's face kind of reacts to how the light hits him. And we get that really cool black and white graphic novel look. So here we are at Yamanaka-san's desk. Um, tons of toys. Everyone here really likes to collect figures. Yamanaka-san and I are always trying to order figures from whatever country the figure that we want is coming out of. So you can see he's got tons of toys made by NECA, Lara Croft, Gears figures. We've got Resident Evil figures. There's even a Bionic Commando hidden back there and the, uh, the Dark Knight. But the real point of coming over here wasn't to just talk about toys. It was uh, to show you Jack in Soft Image XSI, which is what we use to model here at Platinum Games. And so Yamanaka-san has pulled up Jack on his screen, and we wanted to show you a little bit more about how the shadows work. Yamanaka-san, more So he's actually dragging the shadows across, and we use that to check to see how Jack will look in different situations in the game. The other really cool thing about Jack's model is um, is the chainsaw on his arm, because it's got a lot of detail into it. So. If you look at the chainsaw, it comes out with his fingers, and then the rip handle also pulls out on the bottom. Yamanaka-san, chainsaw no gimmick o tsukutta toki ni donna kanji de tsukurimashita ka? How did you make the chainsaw stuff? Eto, shikkari kou kamaete moteru yoni kopo ni fukku o tsukete. Motto kopo tsukete. So that's a handle? Hmm. De kopo wa chain ga chanto maatte mas. So the chain actually spins in the game, but it doesn't spin in soft image. The other really cool thing about the lighting system and the way that we we check it to make sure that everything looks well is that it's global in the game as well as global here. So we've got an enemy along with Jack in T poses, and uh, you can see how the light affects them uh, as he moves through his various animations. All 
All right, so we've moved along. We're actually now in the background design area. Um, I'd like to introduce <laughs> Hiroshi Nishin Pura. If Yamanaka-san will get out of the way. And uh, he's one of the designers responsible for um, the backgrounds and the stage design in Mad World. Um, this is one of the stages. This is actually the first stage of Mad World. You can see there's lots of destroyed stuff. You've got dead challengers on the wall. Death Watch opens tonight. And within these stages, which are decent size, I mean, they're pretty good sized stages, we, um, we put in all the environmental kills. So all of the stuff that you're going to use in the game to kill people with, whether it be spiked walls or the human garbage dumpsters that slap down and cut you in half, um, they all get placed around the stage and they're actually separate objects within the system. So we decided to pull one up that you might have heard of before and uh, we'll give you a peek at what, uh, what the actual model looks like for the Mandarts board. Mandarts in this case. Mandarts. So this is the famed Mandarts board. Um, it's actually mechanical in the game, so it'll slide up. And uh, all of that stuff is built into the model through there. And you will be using a spiked bat in the game to whack people as hard as you can. Um, I go usually for triple 20s, just because um, a high score, four, I guess. But, uh, but you can shoot for whatever you want. Yamanaka-san, hmm? are you good at Mandarts? Mandarts. So you aim for the bullseye? <laughs> so I like to aim for triple 20. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I get the fat American jokes here all the time. Ishimura-san. マンダーズ特有ですかいいぐらいメンダーズまあ初期から出てましたねそう通りですこれはここ狙いますダブル 20 <笑><笑> Paul was in charge of the enemies in Mad World, and I kind of want to ask him about um, what makes a good enemy. And your, what is your favorite enemy in the game? Oh, the hunky punks? Hunky the punks. Mm. Yeah, so the enemies in the first stage are actually known as the hunky punks. Um, that's my fault. So is Herr Frederick von Twirling Killer, but we'll ignore the fact that I'm insane. And that's it, hunky punks. あの、ま、最初に作った敵っていうのもあるし、あの、一番行動が多い。ま、敵が例えば殺されたら笑ったりとか、お金に群がったりっていう、そういうこう欲望丸出しの人間臭いところがちゃんと Thank you very much, Paul, for <laughs> helping us out. You've got the gaff wallpaper. And, uh, and oh, God, take your bio four. <laughs> okay, so we've moved again. We're actually with uh, the blood effect designer, Yoshikazu Hidaki. But uh, I got really sick of Yamanaka-san, so I got Kwame, who's one of our Canadian programmers, the only other foreigner here right now. Yes, sir. And, uh, and I brought him over here because, geez, if I have another Resident Evil 4 or something stuck in my face, I think I was going to hit him, and if I hit him, I'll probably get fired, and that wouldn't be cool. Kwame, you're a programmer. Yes, sir. Um, I was going to actually come to your desk and sh film you, but filming you programming would probably be about as interesting as watching Grass Brow. Uh, less so. But you do have something very special about you. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> so, 
Kwame wears these slippers around the office, and they are the most obnoxiously ugly things that I've ever seen in my life. Kwame, could you take your slippers yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see the slippers. Yeah, they might be obnoxious, but they're really comfortable. <laughs> Alright, so these slippers are the exact same slippers that you use to walk around a Japanese elementary school. And Kwame used to be a teacher, teaching English here in Japan That's before right. he got a game company job. He stole these slippers. Whoa, 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 what, what? You stole these, didn't you? Dude, I bought those. You bought these? That's right, I spent good money on those. Where did you buy these? Well, there's a little uh, booth in the, in the school. So you did buy them at school? Yeah, I did. Kwame, these are toilet slippers. They're not toilet slippers, Dude, you man. wear these slippers to go to the toilet. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're toilet slippers, dude. All right, there's going to be blood here and not on the screen, so... <laughs> Hiraki-san, could, uh, could you show us some blood before he shows them blood? <laughs> How do you make the, the blood effects? How do you make the blood effects? How did you make the actual textures, like the textures for the blood? How did you make those? Chino texture, what do you have to do? Photoshop, the texture, 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 the that is so wrong, dude. <laughs> Look at squirting out like Dude, I love it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we're finishing up. This is the end of the tour. We've actually come to, uh, to Nishikawa san's desk. This is my city, my invite. Let's run it up and watch the sky ignite. It won't hurt just to try it right. Yeah, maybe you right, it might. Downtown where the crime is right, the time is right to bust this dynamite. Oh, you come to 